serious. Serious? I didn't know you wanted to. Come on, let's get serious. Why do you say so? I haven't seen him either. Here, let me help you with that. Well, since you put it that way, Gary was here about a half an hour ago. Why didn't you say that to begin with? Where is he? He made a phone call. He ran out the back door. Any idea what spoke to him? Well, most people run out of this place after they had a meal. I know. I've eaten here. So, uh, I'm juggling Shane Sewers and, uh... Magic night at the Silver Bullet. Oh, hi. Can I get you guys a Coors Light? My name is Siegfried. And I'm Roy. We are here to answer you out for live entertainment. Great. What do you do? We had a mass. That's how we lose. Oh, you mean car tricks. Well, customers love that stuff. Hit it, Siegfried. Behold. <laughs> what are you doing Saturday? <laughs> There's no slowing down with the Silver Bullet tonight. When you're allergy sensitive, your next attack may be only a breath away. For relief, depend on Benadryl. Doctors have prescribed it more than any allergy medication ever. Benadryl from Park Davis. If you can dream it, you can do it. Today, the Prudential can show you a new world of financial opportunities. Look to the rock for mutual funds, stocks, and bonds. Feel its strength in CDs, insurance, and mortgages. With the right choices, the right guidance, the sky's the limit. The Prudential. Your rock in financial services. Can you imagine why anyone would want to add anything artificial to something that just comes naturally from ingredients like grain, water, barley, hops? <laughs> Neither can Coors. Friday. They're trying to keep his nightmares from coming true. Past and present collide. It was just a dream. It doesn't have it's to be. It's not a dream. It was real. Adderley. For 25 years, I've wondered if I had what it takes. And now I've got a chance to prove it. And by God, I am going to prove it. Two decades ago, he set out to become a cop. Police officers, nobody move! This year, he finally made it. Coming soon to CBS. Do you listen to everything I say? You're the one with the experience in the street. The oldest rookie, starring Paul Sorvino. For an addict hooked on drugs, there's only one thrill left in life. The thrill of kicking the habit. If you want to experience the ultimate high, get smart, get help, get free. Somebody once said dying is easy, comedy is hard. But I don't think Gary Kurtz would have agreed. Look, what kind of relationship were they having? Well, it's professional now, but they go back a long way. Tracy Baskin gets around. She worked for Gary Kurtz. She's working for you. What is this? Yeah, play your cards right. She could work for you, too. You're a very funny fellow. Where is she? We need to talk to her. I don't know. Try the office. We want to ask a few questions about Kurtz. It won't take long. Mm, call her. You got a dime? Phone calls cost a quarter now, Mike. Yeah? You got a quarter? You got a quarter? No. You got a quarter? Thanks. Let me have a little more marriage on this, will you? Yeah, coming up. Oh, there you are, Mr. Hammer. You look just like the agency described you. That's Mr. Hammer. Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. Well, I don't know where she is. When I left, she was still at the office. Hiya, boss. I'm the new temp. 
They told me at the cop shop I'd find you here. I brought you your messages. My what? Your messages. Well, I didn't feel comfortable listening to them. I mean, not until we were properly introduced. Ruthie McLaughlin, designated hitter. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, Ruthie. What happened to Tracy? That little girl with the big mouth? Yeah. Called the agency, said she had some kind of problem. Problem? Hey, pal, you got a cassette player? Yeah, right over there. Mr. Hammer, this is New York Telephone, and your bill is still overdue, and we feel that... Mike, it's Tracy. I'm at the airport. Gary called and said he was in big trouble. I gotta meet him in L.A. I don't know what's going on, but he sounded scared to death. I have to go. Bye. It'll be right to be scared. Obviously, she doesn't even know what happened. If she's having to meet Kurtz, who's she gonna meet? It's a good question. Whoever killed Kurtz could be getting for her next. Well, L.A. is just a tad out of our jurisdiction. Yours, not out of mine. California is a land of bright sunshine, fresh air, and a lot of other reasons that keep me from going there too often. I found out from the guys at the comedy club that Tracy stayed at Gary Kurtz's house in Malibu. So I rented a set of wheels and headed for the beach. Please fasten your seatbelt. Please fasten your seatbelt. Please fasten all right, your seatbelt. All right, all right, relax. Please fasten your seatbelt. Okay. Please fasten your seatbelt. Are you happy? The passenger door is ajar. The passenger door is ajar. Not anymore. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. Come on a safari with me. Early in the morning, we'll be starting now. The money's will be coming along. We loaded up the woody with the boards inside and hit it out singing our song. Come on, baby, you surf the far out. I'm going to take you surfing to me. Come on, baby, I'm waiting to see now. I'm going to take you surfing to me. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. Okay, funny girl. Where is it? Where's what? Cut the comedy. You know where Kurtz hid it. It? You have a very weak vocabulary. You know, there are more important things than dressing well. <sighs> I like your suit. You don't listen too good, do you? I heard the bell. Yeah. Listen, you're going to go answer that. And you're going to be cool. All my life I wanted to be cool. I'm going to send you to see your boyfriend sooner than you want. What do you mean? Come on, let's just move it. Come on. Hey, oh. Guys, we I got your message. Good. Mike, how long has it been? What? Uh, it's been hell here. I haven't had a moment's peace since you left. Yeah, I, I knew you couldn't live without me. Sorry to close the door on our relationship, pal, but that's showbiz. Hit his gun, Tracy. Now, what are you doing here?
don't you try turning over and getting your front tail? Tracy, be careful with that thing. It might go off. Don't worry, it's empty. Yeah? No. One down and five to go. What are you doing here? Gary's dead. He was murdered. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. Who would want to kill Gary? Good question. What about your beach pal? Somebody might have paid him to do it. You gotta help me. Hey, that's why I'm here. Come on. I decided to stick around the beach house and see what I could find while Tracy dropped in on her friends at Comedy West to tell them about Gary's death. Bad news travels fast. The comics were already putting together a roast. I guess they have their own way of dealing with that final curtain. We're not here to talk about you. We're here to talk about Gary. You think that Brian Sage came all this way from New York just to hear some laughs? No way. Gary made a lot of contributions to comedy. Ha! <laughs> Donna, he never made any contribution to anything in his life. Gary's tax form gave me no clear information. Of course, mine doesn't either. Did you know he was a ventriloquist? Wait a minute. Gary Kurtz was a ventriloquist? Yeah. He put all the words in the mouth of his gal, Tracy. <laughs> oh. Tracy. Oh. Hi, I'm Deanne, Gary's girlfriend. Oh, Let's do one of our old reasons. What an awful reason for us to finally meet. <laughs> Gary always wanted me to have long hair. Harry. Mm. Come on, Harry, wake up. You're up next. Come on. Stage. Go. Gary was very creative, bi-coastal. Hold it. Gary was bi-coastal? Yeah. I didn't know he came out of the closet. I searched through every corner of that joint and didn't come up with anything. Gary's lifestyle couldn't have been more different than mine. But in certain ways, the place reminded me of home. Gary, wherever you are. I've died a few times myself, like now. But Gary, you've earned your wings, kid. No more lost luggage, no more rubber chicken. You're flying first class from now on, maybe. Gary flew first class, all right, but he didn't fly alone. So, all right, imagine that this comic dies and he goes to hell. Hey, Howie, this is hell listening to you. <laughs> uh, this is for Gary. Howie. Don't pay any attention to him. I think we can cut a deal. Now go tell your mother you've got a permanent job in big time comedy. I can tell you what Gary said about this. Now, Gary, I don't have a here. I wish he were here. I loved him. We all did. Okay, I found these inside the house. Airplane tickets, one for Gary Kurtz, the other uh -huh. for Terry Valentine. Same flight, same day, almost every week. Well, Gary did a lot of traveling for business. Yeah. Awesome. Look at this. Gary Kurtz is always round trip, LA to New York. Terry Valentine is always one way. I wonder why. I have no idea. Okay, when Gary traveled from LA to New York, did he always go alone? As far as I know. Come on. Mike, if I knew anything about this, I'd tell you. I don't even know what drawer I keep my socks in. Sometimes I think I need a private eye just to, just to help me get my life together. Sometimes I think I need a comedian just for a couple of laughs. <laughs> I didn't always be a comedian, you know. I wasn't. I used to be uh, uh, a waitress. Actually, the world's worst waitress. No, she lives in New Jersey. So did I. That's where I'm from. Yeah. Yeah, my customers always ended up wearing their food, but they always went out laughing. I think I know you. Oh. <laughs> It's not a bad appetite for anybody. 
Tracy took me to see Cynthia Stillman, Gary's attorney and confidant. If Cynthia spent as much time working on her cases as she did on her body, her practice must be in pretty snazzy shape. Cynthia, you still have seven minutes of exercise to go. And I'm looking forward to it. It's good to see I'm sorry about Gary. I wish I could have made the roast. How totally sincere of you, Sin. This is my camera from New York. He's here to look into what happened to Gary. Hello? Hello? How can I help you? Do you have any idea why someone would want to kill Gary? He was a nice guy. Everyone liked him. Not everyone. Ever heard of a Terry Valentine? No. It doesn't ring a bell. Tracy, you mentioned that uh, Gary had a girlfriend. Yeah, uh, Deanne Barrows. She might know something. How do we reach her? 555-2632. Cynthia has a photogenic memory. Yes, I noticed. Bye-bye, thanks. Goodbye. See ya. I called Deanne Burroughs and she gave me her address at Venice Beach, a place that's a lot like Greenwich Village with bikinis. I wanted to have lunch there, but I didn't have the energy to fight my way through the bean sprouts to find the hot dog. Excuse me, I'm awfully hungry. Could you? Ah, thank you. Hey, Michael. I guess if you stood here long enough, the whole world would skate by. Since Deanne Barrows was Gary's girlfriend, I figured she could tell me why he always traveled with a guy or a gal named Terry Valentine, unless he was doing it behind her back. In that case, I hoped for Gary's sake that Terry was a gal. Anybody home? It's so funny, like this chicken thing. See, this is chicken cube, this is chicken strip, and this is chicken chicken, all white meat. Best tasting part of chicken. Tenderloin, most juiciest part. Comes with fries and coleslaw. And where's only place you get chicken this good? At the fish place. I love this country. <laughs> Long John Silver sounds good to me. There's a feature on this Kodak 35mm camera that may surprise you. It's free when you mail in multiple proofs of purchase from these Procter & Gamble products and from Kodak Color Film. Plus, with Kodak quality and no need to focus, you'll find it's easy to take great 35mm photos. But hurry, because this free Kodak camera can be yours only if you're among the first 60,000 to mail in. Others will receive up to $40 savings on selected Procter & Gamble and Kodak products. So look for details at participating stores and get rolling. Now, the fullest, thickest, fluffiest softness of any fabric softener. Introducing new Downy, the most softness ever. Our things are plenty soft. This is softness so fluffy you can see the difference. Downy towels fluff higher. New Downy softens best. Fluffy! New Downy, the fullest, thickest, fluffiest softness ever. Mmm, much softer. Mm-hmm. Smells good. April Fresh, the fluffiest softness of any fabric softener. New, brand new Downy. The new My Camera will continue.